law number two. You reap what you sow. Period. That's it. You reap what you sow. Paul tells us that in Galatians 6 verse 7. And Jesus told us that in Luke 6 verse 37 and 38. Here's what Paul says in Galatians 6 and verse 7. He says, do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. Now I have this big sack of kernels of corn or corn seeds. After the service, I may go out into the field areas that we have. We have all this land here in this West Campus. I think I'm going to dig some holes in the ground and plant corn. Each kernel, when it grows and matures, should yield this great big stalk of corn and at least one ear of corn on each stalk. I'm going to go and plant this. Now, Let's assume I did that immediately after the service. I go in the back, I dig a hole, I put the kernel in there, I put some fertilizer, I water it, and then I come back months later, and I'm baffled. What do I see? I see tomatoes. <laughs> I may say, like what they say in Zambia, eh, eh. I mean, I'm going to say, how in the world, how in the world did these kernels of corn Produce tomatoes. It cannot. You reap what you sow. Jesus said, sow condemn or judgmentalism, reap judgmentalism. Sow condemnation, reap condemnation. Sow forgiveness, reap forgiveness. Sow money or resources, reap money or resources. You reap what you sow. And many of you, if there is an area in your life that needs harvest, it's barren, it's unfertile, you need to sow in that area so you can reap it in return. Last night I was at the East Campus, Montclair, and I preached at the, that service at 7 p.m. And afterwards, this couple comes up to me, gleaming from ear to ear. They pulled out pictures out of their wallet. I said, Pastor, look at this picture. Look at our baby girl. And I'm looking at the baby girl. Okay. And they said, you really don't? Let me tell you the story. We were there in service during one of the times months ago when you were having a baby dedication service. And you were lifting up babies and dedicating them to the Lord. And the wife said to me, my heart was so broken because my husband and I have been married for years and we've been barren, unable to have children. And there in the service, I said, God, do it for me like you did for those couples. And the husband finished the story. He said, in two weeks, I was dancing around my kitchen because my wife says she's expecting. And here now, this beautiful baby girl, Victoria, that they named her, and they show me pictures. Now I got the story. See, they saw, the Bible says in Psalm 126, sow in tears and you reap in joy. And so when they sowed in regards to prayer and blessing couples that had children, and God gave them their own. And I'm saying to you, law number two, you reap what you sow.